Don't let the, you know, the buyer shroud your perception, dude. Okay, that's what you're doing. It's clear. It's clear here. Who's sneaking the eggs? Is it those virgin boy eggs? Okay, because you need to be stopped. Um, the first one I want to have a look at is by the wonderful Intra Species. I was in on this and I thought it was freaking hilarious that Intra Species decided to make a video on it. A meat advocate, Kemenek, doesn't read her sources, is corrected by the author of a paper she cites. Bearing in mind <laughs> that this is a person who, I think science is a, is a big old story, so really interesting. But yeah, I said to Intra that I'd react to this on stream. <laughs> oh, that's all a joy. Hi guys, I just wanted to do a quick video on something that was kind of funny and also shine a light on the blatant dishonesty from someone who's pretty active in the anti-vegan slash carnivore communities. So Kevin Bass made a tweet about veganism and depression and- Ke Kevin Bass, just such a classic anti-vegan. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. Yeah, this is the eat me, be happy person who we looked, um, you know, we had a little look at her content on the uh, channel previously. And Minnick, who has over 11,000 followers for some reason, decided to say this <laughs> class. <laughs> Interest so like, oh yeah, 11,000 followers for some reason. <laughs> I love how eloquently she comes in with a passive aggressiveness. Study that she claims establishes a causal relationship between veganism and depression. The author of that study actually responded to her and pointed out that she was misrepresenting the study and that it instead found that a high quality plant-based diet decreased depressive symptoms. Ken <laughs> I want to like read these, hang on. Mara analysis of the observational study shows that vegetarianism and veganism are consistently associated with higher depression scores, whether de depression is caused by the vegetarian or vegan diet or by something else is not known by the current data. So, I mean, at least, you know, he put that in there. And Eat Meat Be Happy was like, have you read it? The study shows evidence for vegan diets causing depression. We do know 30% of vegans actually eat eggs and or dairy, admit to this openly, yet lie about their diet. So a third of the vegans in my chat, you're liars. You're liars, it could be me. What, where's that study coming from, by the way? That 30% of vegans actually eat eggs um, or dairy and admit this openly, yet lie about their diet. How can you admit to this openly, yet lie about your diet? Yeah, if you're admittedly being open with it, but you're lying about it. Can someone, <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> what does she mean? Who, who are we being apparently open to and who are we lying to? It's part of the mental illness that is the vegan eating disorder. I didn't know that veganism was a diet until now. And I didn't know that there was one way to, um, you know, be a vegan who eats. I, I didn't know. Who's, yeah, who's sneaking the eggs? Who's sneaking the eggs? Is it those virgin boy eggs? Okay, because you need to be stopped. Okay, because we, we, we discussed those virgin boy eggs and it's disgusting. ...that she was misrepresenting the study and that it instead found that a high quality plant-based diet decreased depressive symptoms. Ken responded by saying, quote, your paper is not science. Is it peer reviewed? No. Has another set of scientists independently found the same results? No. It may as well be a comic book, end quote. She's saying this about the paper that she cited as evidence. <laughs> the author then responded pointing out it had, in fact, been peer reviewed and published in one of the world's most well-respected medical journals. When someone else put- Oops. Oops. <laughs> oh god, she loved it a second ago. That's interesting. Oh God. Pointed out the fact that Kem was now dismissing a study that she herself just cited. She responded by citing it again. The same study she moments before had said was not science and claimed may as well be a comic book to try and argue that vegan diets cause depression. It also made up some weird statistic about 30% of vegans sneaking animal products in and lying about their diet. I know, it's the classic. person pointed That's... this out to her and she once again <laughs> cited the study and claimed it shows vegans are more depressed than meat eaters. Imagine the author of the paper coming to you and saying, yeah, this is actually what we found. And then you just like ignoring that and being like, no, is that this? Like if anyone's gonna be able to read it better than you, it's probably the person who like, you know, got it like published and you know, dedicated their time to it. It's probably, is it likely they have a better reading 
of, you know, the, the paper. I'm 50% convinced Kem actually peed her pants when she read Megan's response. No, okay. She peed her pants in excitement for the fact that she just dunked on the very author of the paper. Okay, you're, you're, you're confusing it. You think she was peeing her pants out of sheer like, horror that she was being proven wrong. No, she was peeing her pants in anticipation for this epic dunk. Come on, intra. Come on. Don't let the, you know, the buyer shroud your perception, dude. Okay? That's what you're doing. It's clear. It's clear here. <laughs> now, all of that on its own is hilarious, but let's take a brief closer look at the study itself and the excerpt she keeps throwing around because it's pretty funny. So what the study actually looked at was the relationship between the quality of vegan and vegetarian diets with mood disorders such as depression. Basically, are there stronger associations with low-quality plant-based diets and things like depression than with high-quality ones? It was not comparing vegan diets to meat inclusive diets as she's Intra no okay look eat meat be happy said otherwise okay i i'm dismissing what you're saying okay the, the author and yourself wrong <laughs> just completely wrong <laughs> seems to state here she also keeps citing the following excerpt from the abstract however the association between plant-based diets and mood disorders such as depression remains largely equivocal this cross-sectional study of 219 adults aged 18 to 44 explored the associations between an estimate of overall plant-based diet quality and depression in vegans and vegetarians overall plant-based diet quality was associated with depressive symptoms in vegans and vegetarians account for six percent of the variation in depressive symptoms my assumption here i mean no wonder we're f depressed okay because we have to deal with these absolute geniuses and i don't know about you but they give me some heavy depression i was fine until i opened the door and realized that i share a planet and a species with people like eat meat be happy and how am i supposed to not have depression how tell me i want to know the secret chem is the arbiter of epidemiology <laughs> Here is that she just doesn't understand what it's saying. She might think that the word equivocal in the first sentence means something similar to equal. It doesn't. It means ambiguous or uncertain. And that it's consequently implying there's a causal relationship between plant-based diets and mood disorders. She might also think the part that reads, quote, plant-based diet quality was associated with depressive symptoms in vegans and vegetarians, end quote, means that plant-based diets themselves were associated with depression, but Again, it's speaking about the quality of the diet and saying that depressive symptoms vary depending on the quality. Perhaps the most hilarious part is that two sentences later, it reads, quote, these findings suggest that a high quality plant-based diet may be protective against depressive symptoms in vegans and vegetarians, end quote. So I'm not sure she even finished reading the abstract. Or maybe she did and didn't care. Anyway, I just wanted to put out this quick, fun little video for you guys. I oh. hope you're all doing well, and thank you for the support. And I beautiful smash like smash 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 smash. smash. Oh, we need to call more of this out because it's absolutely it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I'll put the link in the chat. Go over smash like. Make sure you subscribe to Interspecies. species.